With the release of the Hunt event for Roblox, the world has finally been graced with the return of Doors content. Not only with a brand new sublevel being added, but also a sneak peek at Floor 2. There is a lot to go over and talk about in this video, so I'm going to keep this intro pretty short and just jump straight into it. Remember to like and subscribe and comment down below for the algorithm, and without further ado, let's return to the endless halls of Doors. Alright, so the biggest showstopper of this event is the backdoor sublevel added as part of the hunt event. Despite being released as part of the hunt, the backdoor has nothing to do with core blocks or the Death Walker or any of that Easter stuff. Instead, it's just an extension of Doors gameplay and the lore through and through, further proven by the fact that the developers have stated that the subfloor will remain in the game after the hunt ends. Anyways, so the backdoor is supposed to be a sort of prelude or alternate entrance into the world of Doors, at least the hotel part. Here, after taking the elevator, the player has to travel from door negative 50 to door 0, as they are attacked by three brand new entities, Haste, Blitz, and the Look Man. The player is also accompanied by a familiar face, er, mm, presence, Curious Light. The subfloor seems to be his domain, as well as the rooms. Although, just like in the rooms, Curious Light seems to not know really what is going on. They do help the player out in the back door, however, by placing the lovers to extend the timer, as well as presumably leaving behind vials of starlight, which, based on the color and the symbols on them, as well as the fact that they create a portal when put in the rift, may be the essence of Curious Light themselves. We learn a lot from the back door that really helps make things in the hotel make more sense. For example, it is confirmed in the back door that these areas are just floating out in an endless void thanks to the presence of the vacuum obstacle, which sucks you into the void when opening a door. Since the void is present in the main game as well, as there is nothing outside, it seems that this may be the case in the hotel as well. The only caveat to this would be that the garden part of the hotel clearly lets you outside in the rain where the void is and like, well, you don't get sucked away and there's clearly oxygen there, so it's unclear exactly how that works, but um, that remains to be seen. This does bring up a few questions as well about the broken bridge in the lobby, as well as how in the world the player even got to the hotel in the first place, but we can save those theories for another day. Another very important piece of new information comes from the first death message that you get from the entity Blitz. When dying to it for the first time, Curious Light says, quote, She said we should call that one Blitz. This singular line of dialogue is probably one of the biggest revelations for this game's lore since the beginning. First off is obviously the mention of a she, which means that not only are there other entities like Curious Light and Guiding Light, but also that Curious Light is aware of them and actively talks to them, which is very interesting, because the game shows us that some areas like the rooms are only influenced by one entity at a time. Note that items from the hotel do not work in the rooms, such as the crucifix and the candles, magical properties. The she mentioned could honestly be anyone. I see a lot of people online assume it's guiding light, and there's a good chance that it is, but there's also the possibility that it is a different light, one that we will meet in floor 2. This is because Curious Light's usage of the word we. This she person did not just tell Curious Light to call Blitz Blitz, she told an entire group of individuals to do so. Whether it's Guiding Light or some other sort of light, it doesn't really affect this theory, but it does raise a lot of questions, particularly about who in the world Curious Light actually is, and what their true intentions are. It's clear as day now that the lights, despite being spiritual forces, have the ability to manipulate the physical world. Guiding Light distracts the figure in door 50 and slams the door on seat, on top of illuminating stuff. And Curious Light is the one placing the vials of starlight and the switches around in the back door. So why is Curious Light's area in door 60-ish of the hotel and the entrance to the rooms kept so secret and locked away? And what is this unnamed painting supposed to be depicting? Well, we really don't have solid answers for any of that right now, but hopefully Floor 2 will give us some answers. Speaking of Floor 2, The Mines. A teaser trailer for that just dropped as I was creating this video, and while it doesn't so much, it, there is still some interesting stuff in it. First of all, the mines appear a lot more open-ended than any of the previous areas of the game, with a very different vibe and seeming gameplay loop. The levels seem to be more grand in overall, it's a very fresh and exciting take on the genre. We also get a sneak peek of what many are thinking is a new entity, and I'm inclined to agree. However, we actually get a quick look as well at a blue light flashing through a previous room. This blue glow is unmistakably the glow of Guiding Light, which confirms that they will be returning on this floor. However, as pointed out by Creecrafter in his analysis, 
GL seems to be moving into the previous room, which makes this encounter very, very strange. Once again, like I said, this does confirm that Guiding Light will be returning in Floor 2, instead of it just being a different light or just Curious Light again, which leads me to believe that the main floors will be watched over by Guiding Light, and the sublevels will be watched over by Curious Light, both kind of maintaining the floors in the void. Whoever these creatures are, and what their deal is, and how they ended up in this place, remains to be seen. But I feel like we will all likely be given the answer in the next update. Anyways, that's really all I've got for this video. Um, apologies for the shortness of it. Well, I don't know if it's short, we'll see. But um, yeah, uh, please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Especially Roblox theories, because yeah. And share the video around to your friends so that it gets traction in the algorithm. See you guys next time, bye.